You must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. Why you good? I rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! Harsh! Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? I really hope this isn't a bomb. Hey, don't touch that. Turn it the wrong way and it could blow. Seriously? <laughs> You're so gullible, Quill. It ain't gonna blow. I mean, its core is definitely volatile as scut and could melt a hole through the floor if an idiot decided to take it apart. But it's practically harmless. Just need some extra repulsion coils to manage the flaw in the photonic phase capacitor. But will it damage the ship? Eh, probably not. You really go bananas for this stuff, don't you? What the flark is a banana? It's this yellow fruit on Earth that looks like a... Never mind. The point is, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Hey, I ain't obsessed. Tech just makes sense, okay? There's order to it. Makes me feel calm. That and it doesn't rip you off like some filthy biologicals I've known. How are you not obsessed with tech? Look at this place, your room is... Wow, I mean... Wow. What's wrong with my room? You don't even have a bed. I got a bed. It's buried under junk. I prefer to call it a soft shelf. I <laughs> just... Don't know how any of this could make you feel calm. I feel stressed just looking at it, and that's coming from me. If Groot didn't do the laundry, I'd probably never have clean clothes. Like I said, tech makes sense. Why do you care so much? I don't know. Because you're such a perfectionist. I ain't a perfectionist. The lead scientist on Half-World, Rakmar. He... Oh, he was a perfectionist. A horrible free bag and scut and flark flark and son of a chog! What did he do to you? Oh, what any self disrespecting scientist does? Started a super soldier program! Except instead of using one of their precious blue skins, they decided to experiment on us. Animals. 
lesser life forms. But it wasn't enough that he ripped us apart and jammed us full of cybernetic implants. Oh no. He'd make us perform tasks over and over and over. Oh, like lab rats. And if we flarked up, if it wasn't exactly right or up to his flarkin standards, he'd shock us into unconsciousness. Holy crap. Rocket, I... It is what it is, Quill. Groot says fixing stuff is my way to make the memory of that stressed feeling go away. Make me feel in control again when I get overwhelmed. I don't know. He's probably right. <laughs> you got grifted. Laugh it up, star pants. <clears throat> I mean, that's terrible. Who was it? A chick. Really? I didn't even know you liked girls. She wasn't just any girl. She was a chick. One of them Voldai. Bird people. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she sounds super special. Her name was Tella. And she wasn't just special. She made me feel special. Like I wasn't some freak show science experiment. She bought me a drink. She didn't even flinch at my implants. I just escaped Half-World, and I fell for her. Hard. We've all been there, buddy. Half the girls I've dated have tried to kill me. You should see the scars. Except I didn't know no better. I thought Tella was my friend. And then one day, she convinces me to hack a ship for her. You know, kid stuff. Wasn't even nothing in it for me, I just wanted to impress her. Oh, <laughs> yep. Definitely been there. Reminds me of this one time with Vralnaxian, we, uh... You mind? Anyways, I hacked the ship, all right. I hacked it to scut. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of Badoon thugs. Turns out they owned the ship. While they focused on me, she took off in the ship that I hacked for her. She left me there, Quill. Like I was trash. <sighs> That's the day I learned to think twice before trusting biologicals. They're not all like Groot. Groot really is the first one to treat you right, isn't he? He's my family. You're lucky to have found each other. Especially after... Everything. And then some. I hope you'll see us as family one day, too. Yes, little one. You talking to me or the llama thing? I was addressing... the creature. She somewhat reminds me of my daughter. Are Kadathian girls covered in fur? No, but they are resilient and stubborn, like the creature. Peter, we need to... Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. 
I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corel was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... Badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yanyu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying. So I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxi is gone, what's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? I am Groot. An asteroid, huh? Huh. Smart! I saw you looking at those emergency door control stupid llama thing. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your ship. And that better have been an acknowledgement. <laughs> oh, why yes. Uh, Gamora, I was only looking. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... 
never got a chance to say thank you for the doll. Oh, <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Uh, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was going to be a knife or something. Like I said... Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. that. No, I will never do it for her. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. I see you have discovered my criminal record. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I, I, oh, with, or, what was it like? You, I, the, yikes.
So, uh, Drax, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning the ship around and heading back to the Macriarch. I'll take that as a win. It is Matriarch. According to this, the Collector report- Oh! Hey! Rocket! Groot! Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guy! Never- Groot. It- Is it- Fuck Groot. What happened to your homeworld? You- What is- He's- Ain't- Far- You- He's- How'd you end up with- How'd he- Fuck- He's- Oh, but- Just- He- Oh! S specimens. S he- Is- Um, you- Sir. But I- You- He's- Can't wait for Star Pants to see what I do to the weapon system. It's gonna be great, right, Muscle? Ha shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't shooing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> shoo, flark off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey. Do I look like an engineer? You don't! Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxy. Cosmo! What? Is the... You look... Co what happened? So these are the coward no. This did the blood giving you Why? Where are you going? Did you What? Sorry. Some free spoken language. More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! God helmet. Your sh scan again. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine, so. On that garbage scow worth salvaging. Groot, find us a channel with less butthole content. We're taking fire! <laughs> Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? She'll want a payment in blood. Probably yours. Please, Trinity. I would love to hunt you down. Private Morning Glory is running his mouth again. Kinda of good to have bounty hunters after us. It means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is as bad as his costume. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just make what did she offer these guys? Too much! Drax the Destroyer. My bounty is for fire. Never heard of him. These ships ain't dying fast enough. Fools. You face the best fighters in the galaxy.
One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Got a piece of that guy. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... I'm sure it's very comfortable. I would not be mocked! Then do something about it. Lady Skullshoot has the worst block in timing! Bad Guardians. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Keep up the barrage. It will not survive it. It's really pissing me off. Starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Oh. I am Glory, warrior of. <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I Groot had to leave. Power supplies are low. Need access to facilities. Swear not to leave them. Won't get jealous now. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. To Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How may we assist you? Hunter must choose quickly, little one. <laughs> After scanning your ship. Our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. I am Groot. Nova Prime's identity is confidential. And communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Just pick something, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not everything. Oh, fuck you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat. 
No resources toward fighting it. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle brain. Get nope. my work. No touchy. Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, but look at this scut. Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Duh, boys. Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right, she's, uh, dead. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Groot wants us to report. If you pick Creequil, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. Eh, better than Creek. Not much better, but better. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. <gasps> Scroll back up! Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. This menu again? Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Nova, Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. Corbin Day is missing in action, and, and unable to respond. Heard of him. He was in the Resistance. So much for near-perfect algorithms, Helpline. We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing, and is assumed dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit it in front of a Nova Corps console, Rocket! How about future crime? Great idea! Let's report something we're gonna do, and blame it on some other schmuck! Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world. We took another galaxy. What? I'm not going to bring it back to the world. How can we? Told you. They're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, damn. They're pretty soft. Yes, can What? And me? It's top ball and drive. You're. What a. Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause. Culture, culture is more than a location. But you're not that. We can risk the room that we can. You mean so, Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. We, 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 want to. Yeah, yeah. we, we recognize, recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. concern. We, we did, did not, not make this decision without considering you. Not gone. 
We are it's okay. Classic Nova Core. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Groot! Uh, yeah. Let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, come on, really? I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Well, I see it. <laughs> we I, gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! I don't know. What the fuck? Sack here! And I'm 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 just rock. I don't. And what I don't. Fuck. Don't. Screw Nova Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Ugh. Now I'm gonna get fleas. We sure had good times, didn't we? Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> And the bed smells. Great. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. 
Come on, there. Let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Talked about this, man. You gotta stop. 